Wow. Oh. Look at that bowl speed. Yeah. Yikes. One, <laughs> 150 carry on the number going 163. Wow. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson and I have a sweet club test today. So we have the Titleist T200 irons, the Apex DCB irons, and the TaylorMade P790 irons. I'm excited because I don't get to hit the shots, Jackie gets to hit the golf shots. So Jackie, are you excited to test these clubs out? Yes, I'm really excited. Um, you know, in Previous videos, obviously with the P790, it's something I know I like, and same thing with the T200. Haven't hit the uh, Callaway Apex, uh, so I, I'm excited about that. And you know, I'm obviously right now I have the Titleist uh, AP2s, so uh, a little used to the Titleist irons in general. Um, so I'm interested to see what Callaway can bring to the table as well. So I'm excited. Yeah, this is going to be a great test. Now, the loft on these clubs are all very, very similar. So, the tight, this T200 and the Apex DCB both have 30 degrees of loft on them. The P790 has 30 and a half. So, very, very similar. I would say the T200 and the P790 are kind of in your distance player's iron. The Apex DCB is kind of unique. It's kind of in that same area but it's got a, just a little bit more forgiveness to it. So the DCB stands for deep cavity back. So it's just a little bit larger and got a little bit more sole width to it, which is gonna really help with regards to forgiveness. So this will be a really interesting test. I know I'm excited to see you hit some shots. You wanna get after it? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so Jackie, for this test, I'm gonna get you to hit eight shots with each club head. We're gonna hit four shots initially, and then we'll come back and hit four more with each one, just to make sure this is as unbiased as we could possibly can make it. For the golf shafts, I've got you testing. I couldn't find the exact golf shaft for each one, but the weight of these golf shafts are in that 60 to 65 gram category. You ready to hit some shots? Let's go. All right, we've got the P790 up first. That was smoked. Yep, felt good. Wow, that's <laughs> the highest ball speed I think I've ever seen out of a seven iron for you. That was hit really well. <laughs> Whatever adjustment you just made there, you smoked that one. Yep, that one felt pretty good. Okay, so Jackie, we've hit four initial shots with each model. Maybe touch on the look and feel comparing these three models. Yeah, well, for sure, uh, out of all of them, the T200 is definitely the top line is thinner. Uh, it's, you know, it looks more like a blade at a dress, uh, but definitely still has that forgiveness feel to it. It feels a lot like my AP2s, but maybe just a slight more forgiveness in that. Uh, the Apex, uh, DCB, definitely like a thicker top line. Uh, you know, it looks like a game improvement iron. So I noticed that right away, uh, which is kind of crazy because it's not too much bigger on the sole, but the top line does look bigger and thicker. And then, you know, the P790, uh, right in the middle between those two. Um, <clears throat> feel wise, I, I thought the T200 and the P790 are, are very comparable. Um, interesting enough though, I, I felt more confident with the T200 that round, uh, like, I don't know, just go, getting after it a little bit better, even though P790 and T200 are pretty similar in performance there. Um, I was more consistent with both compared to, obviously you can kind of see that Apex, I was kind of, miss hits were definitely happening more with them, but I was getting away with it, which mm -hmm. plays into factor of forgiveness, so. Yeah, I think T200, you said you're a little more confident with it because it resembles an iron that you've been playing in the past. So you've been yeah. playing the AP2s. It looks pretty similar to the AP2s. But like you said, just got a little bit extra kind of forgiveness to it there as well. The Apex DCB, it's kind of interesting. If you look at it kind of left to right, I don't feel like you hit it perfect with the Apex DCB. And mm -hmm. you can notice how your club speed was actually almost two miles an hour slower with that one. But if we take a look over here on the right, you can see the carry consistency, which was definitely sort out to me. So your level of forgiveness was actually pretty solid with the Apex DCB. And then the P790, it was, it was solid. It was, you, you hit it really well. Um, it was just nice and solid. We've seen so far 
not really that much separation right off the bat. You can see your carry distance ranged from 130.2 to 132.7. The T200 just going just a little bit further initially, but I want you to hit four more shots with each one just to really kind of validate this data and see how they all perform against each other. All right, let's do it. That was good. Yep, that was solid. Wow, oh. look at that ball speed. Yeah. Yikes, one, <laughs> 150 carry on the number going 163. Wow. So you've hit four more shots with each model here. Does your perception on look or feel change with any of those models at all after the four more shots? Well, I think I, you know, after the four more shots, I definitely hit the Callaway a little bit better um, than original, uh, the original shots. But I mean, still, again, we, I, I look at the T200 and the P790 and very consistent with both. And again, I think it comes down to, to look for me for both of them. I mean, T, T200 to me is more appealing just, you know, on the eye line of the club. I mean, it's just a little bit thinner looking. So, yep. um, but performance wise, I also like the, the height on the T200 I was getting just to control around the greens a little bit, a little bit better there. Um, not, not too far off from the P790, but overall, um, yeah, you'll notice the T200 yeah. was launching a little bit higher, so it was 20.3. That was the highest launch of the three. Apex DCB was 20.1. Uh, you mentioned the height, yes, yeah, so it was 66 feet in the air with that. Apex DCB was also 66. P790 was 65. So there, the height was all pretty kind of similar overall. The difference was the T200 was spinning a little bit more than the other models. Yeah. So we'll notice here the spin rate at 5800 versus 56 with the P790. The Apex DCB for sure was spinning the least at 5,100. That was definitely noticeable. So your landing angle is going to be a little steeper with the T200. Yeah. Uh, your stopping power is going to be a little bit faster with a little bit more spin. Um, I want to touch on one number here, which I thought was really kind of interesting. So we we'll notice the Apex DCB, your club speed was, uh, was almost two miles an hour less than the T200 and the P790. But you notice the ball speed was very, very similar to those two. So I added smash factor in here with regards to numbers. Now smash factor with irons is not always perfect fit. I always like to focus more on the ball speed than the, than the smash factor. Um, you'll notice a lot of tests when I do seven irons, my smash factor gets fairly high. But you'll notice the smash factor number here with Apex DCB, 137. So it was the most efficient club with regards to the amount of club speed that you were generating, you were getting a little bit more ball speed. But I thought that was kind of interesting there if we were kind of comparing mm -hmm. the two of them. That the other ones, you were swinging a little bit faster, but you weren't getting quite as much ball speed. So that's the one thing I kind of noticed. And that, that touches on the level of forgiveness. And you said initially you're like, yeah, the DCB, it, it looks a little more game improvement. Yeah. It is. It, it's got, a little, it's got a, quite a bit larger sole. The top line is a little bit larger. But it's, you know, it's not strong, lofted, jacked it's still 30 degrees loft like these other two. So it's right. kind of interesting that it's forgiving, but also performing in the same kind of area as the other clubs there as well. Um, if we look at the, yeah, the, the height, interesting, they're all 66 feet in the air basically. And yeah. that's right where you want to be. For, for you, with your, with your club speed, we want to get it at the height up as much as we can, um, which is going to give you a little bit better stopping power across the board there too. But yeah. Apex DCB was higher, but spinning a little bit less. So that's why, if you notice, the, uh, the carry and total distance right. was the furthest with the Apex DCB. Which, I mean, I, I kind of expected, you know, right off the gate, just because they are going to be a little bit more forgiving than the other two. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, when I look at that chart, I mean, they're all pretty similar <laughs> in terms of, you know, consistency with that, just all. For me, it, it, again, uh, comparing all of them, looking more at how can I control it uh, around the greens a little bit better. Um, I think with the apex, might have a little bit tougher time, you know, being able to control it into the green if I'm, you know, getting less spin, even though I might be getting more distance. So, 
Uh, yeah, I wanted to bring up a shot here with the Apex DCB talking about less spin. So, yeah. yes, you had one shot here. Your ball speed was 103.8. That was the highest ball speed. You, you smoked that one. Yeah. And the club speed still was less than what your average club speed was with the T200 and the P790. But the spin rate, yes. So if you check out this one, the spin rate was a little bit lower. Um, so you notice the difference between carry and total distance a little bit further. There's no doubt when you smoke it, it can go pretty far. Mm -hmm. You got the grouping of yellow dots a little bit shorter, and then you've got those two going a little further. And in a game improvement model, a little bit more game improvement model, you're going to maybe get a little bit of the chance for maybe more of a flyer, maybe a little more chance of inconsistency with regards to dispersion. Mm -hmm. And then when you kind of look at these other circles that are inside the Apex DCB circle, you can see the P790, the white circle, that was the smallest. So it was very, very consistent. Now, we didn't take out any of your miss-its at all. No. Um, you can see this one here, you maybe had one miss-it in there. If you were going to take that out, notice how you got a grouping here that's pretty close together there as well. Same thing with the T200. If you're going to take this one out, you got a grouping that was kind of pretty close together there too. So you can see that, yeah, your dispersion pattern was a little bit larger with the Apex DCB, and it's important. You want to make sure that you're hitting it on the green. Uh, you want to make sure that you, your consistency is very important. Yeah, I, I think that with all of them, again, like I said before, like pretty similar with the P790 and T200. I mean, I think I could, can't go wrong with either one. They're both going to give me, um, you know, some good consistency there. Uh, but yeah, I think the T200, I like the look a little bit better yeah. personally. And and again, it's not, you know, yeah, my P, but the P790, I probably have a little bit tighter dispersion there. But yeah, I. I be apt to go with the T200 just because of the look. Yeah, and, and that's what it comes down to is whatever the player likes to kind of look down at is definitely yeah. probably the most important thing. Um, but we want to make sure that we fit you into a club head that is still going to be you know the right fit for you or what you're trying to achieve right. out, out of your game there too. So if it was me, I would say knowing that you like AP2, I would probably stay with T200 because that's an iron that you're kind of used to looking down at. Right. Yeah. So this is a very interesting club comparison. We've got three models here where the loft is basically the same. 30 degrees of loft with the T200, the Apex DCB. 30 and a half with the TaylorMade P790. So you'll notice the carry distances were fairly similar. Apex DCB, it's hot. It can go a little further, but you'll notice the spin rate was a little on the, on the lower side. So if you've got a player that, for example, maybe needs a little less spin on an iron, it's a good option. Maybe something's a little more forgiving. But we need spin so the ball can stop on the green. So that's why the T200 and the P790 were just a little bit more in the ballpark of what you would need as, as a player. So keep that in mind. At second swing, we do fit for players different swing types. We don't just put you in a golf club and tell you, hey, this one's going to go the furthest. We want to make sure that it's nice and accurate and consistent every single time. So at second swing, we do fittings in store and also online at secondswing.com. Come on in and get fit for your new irons.